Hello everyone, Mal here with more Disney Dreamlight Valley and the conclusion of the Nature and Nurture quest from newcomer Scar. So as you can see behind me, the orb is completely finished. Um, it is fixed and we're good to go. So what happened? Actually, Friday night when I came to check on it, uh, our next task was to go and check on the orb and I thought I would be able to come up here and uh, I would have to press a button to get everything started but all you had to do was actually walk up uh, walk up to it and it fixed itself but um, as you can see we are done finally i wish i had an exact number of hours that it took but i can tell you it was less than two and a half days to get done and that was with watering two times after planting it so our next order of business is actually to talk to scar and see what happens next Alright, so let's take a look at the map and find Scar so we can finish up this quest. Alright, it looks like he is at home, so we'll head on over. While we're on our way, I just want to thank you guys for your continued support of the channel. If you are new, welcome. Glad to have you. I hope you will all go ahead and give this video a like, and if you are not subscribed, Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to a thousand subs, and I would surely appreciate your help. Pay attention to me. It's about time. All right. Uh, Frankly, uh, I didn't think you'd be able to manage it, even with my guidance. All right, I've handled bigger problems. Uh -huh. right, it's clear you have some competencies, unlike a certain white maned windbag. Or a rather inconvenient nephew of mine, whoever he may be. Uh-oh. I suppose there's enough room in this valley for both of us, Mal. As long as you remember one thing. The Sunlit Plateau is my kingdom, and no one else's. Don't forget it. Alright, so that... Was the end of that. But we can actually go ahead and get into his first friendship quest. So we'll just go ahead and talk to him again. It's about time. Alright, if it isn't our illustrious ruler descending from on high to mingle with the commoners, what brings you to my humble abode? Alright, I'm here to help. How magnanimous of uh -huh. you. But perhaps you should start by helping yourself. For someone who's supposed to be the ruler of this valley, you look rather shabby. Are the tributes not what they used to be? But you don't like my clothes? Hmm. You lack a certain dignity. Your coat is dull and ragged, hardly worth- <laughs> hardly worthy of a warthog. If you want to rule over these lands and deal with me, the king of the Sunlit Plateau, you'll have to address that. Okay, so I have to look a little more regal. Hey, I can only assume there's someone around here responsible for making the coverings you wear on your strange furless skin. Have them make you a coat fit for a leader who's worthy of meeting with me. Alright, I'll ask Mother Gothel. Eh, uh, she's crafty that way. The female from the Glade? Suit yourself now, but be wary, she doesn't claw you in the back. Well, that's true. Alright, friends aren't food, so let's go find Mother Gothel. Mal, and to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? So we have this lion who lives in the Sunlit Plateau, and... Let me guess. I want to get rid of him before he hunts and eats someone. I have just the thing. Oh gosh. I'm trying to convince Scar to talk to me, but he won't unless my coat looks a little more worthy of a ruler. I was hoping you could help me with that. Okay, why would you allow this beast to stay in the village? The quickest solution would be to turn this foolish feline into a coat. 
Yikes. Uh. <laughs> Practical, most definitely. But if you insist on doing it your way and want me to help you make a coat, bring me the materials. I'll need fiber, pieces of fabric, a pair of citrines, and an iron ingot. Citrines for a coat? Ooh, to teach you not to ask stupid questions. Oh my. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back with Mother Gothel. Luckily I had everything we needed in my storage at home, so it didn't take long. I'm going to go ahead and hand these over to her. There's tin fiber, four fabric, two citrines, and one iron ingot. Oh, hello, dear. All right, you have everything you asked for, even the citrines. Those are for my jewelry box, of course. Oh, you could have just asked. <laughs> Consider it payment for my services. And let that be a lesson to you, Mal. Nothing is free. Oh, no, that's right. Now here's your coat as promised. Best of luck with that insufferable animal. Oh, that looks interesting. Uh, are you Brown so faux here? fur trim jacket. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Alright, so let's go ahead and put it on. Oh man, I wish it was still daytime so I could see it better. Alright, we can see the coat a tiny bit better. So, looks like... Is that green and black? It's interesting. Alright, let's talk to Scar. It's about time. Now, see? That wasn't so difficult, was it? Even a warthog could have done it. Uh -huh. I suppose I should tell you the reason for my foul mood. It's simple. Uh -huh. I'm famished. There's scarcely any prey for me to eat in this village. Of course, I did see one of your plump, feathery neighbors about. Uh oh. But I presume you'd mind if I feasted on one of them. Uh, yes, I mind. Well, I mind starving. A solution must be found. Quickly. You can eat fish. Cats love fish. Perhaps your little kitty cats do, but I would need a fish meal fit for a lion. Alright, I guess we'll have to... Oh no, I didn't mean eat Remy. <laughs> Remy can cook something. Uh huh. I remember the nauseating meals he made back before the forgetting. Yikes. I hope for his sake he's improved. I'm not above eating a rodent if I have to. Alright, stay here and don't eat anybody. Hey there, Mal. Great to see you. I hope you're here for some food because I have some fabulous things on the menu. Uh. Wait, that coat you're wearing. It reminds me of something. Someone. Uh... Oh no. You want me to cook for Scar, the harshest food critic in the entire valley? Uh, I know it's a challenge. You're gonna have to help me by preparing the main course. I'm thinking fresh sushi. Sushi. <laughs> it's best when it's just been made. I'll handle the dessert. Ooh, we get more recipes. Alright, so we have both meals in hand. We're gonna go ahead and hand them over to Remy. Hello. You've outdone yourself again, Mal. This looks good enough to be served in any fine dining restaurant. Uh -huh. While you were busy with the main course, I made a coconut cake that I'm pretty certain will leave Scar too full to eat anybody. Let's hope so. Alright, let's go give it to him together. Safety in numbers, right? Hope to see you soon. I don't know, you better stay behind. You're the first one that he's going to eat if this doesn't taste good. There are Mal told me you were hungry, so we whipped something up that I'm pretty sure you're going to, going to enjoy. Alright, there's all the sushi and coconut cake. Not a fan of coconut, that actually looked kind of good. Let me see. 
this cake, you called it, dry, flavorless, and sorely lacking in zebra or gazelle. Oh no. Uh oh, that is not good. But the fish is acceptable. The preparation is far more interesting than the flopping carp I've been given before. I'm appeased. For now. <laughs> you have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Yeah, you better be. Might you be interested in a little quid pro quo? It's about time. Well, now, your neighbors have earned a respite from my carnivorous appetite. You should consider being nicer to people. They could become your friends. <laughs> friends, please. Friends are for simpering, needy overshares. Oh my gosh. Alright guys. So there is the first friendship quest from Scar. His next one is unlocked because I've gotten him up to level 9. I'm actually going to probably max him out after this. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys again for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye!